Hey guys, it's Carrie here. I'm back with another video. This time it's an unboxing of the XP Pen Artist Pro 16, the second gen. This video is kindly sponsored by XP Pen, which is amazing. I've been using their product for a long time. And we're gonna start off with an unboxing and then me setting up and then me trying on it. This is a first impression video, so there's more of this to come. The main thing that got me excited about this tablet is that this version comes with a remote and I just love the overall design for this. And it came with a lot of goodies and I also must apologize for my voice right now. I'm currently very sick with a cold, but I wanted to have this video out for you guys as soon as possible since I've been using this tablet for about a month now. Even then, there's still so many of the features that I haven't fully tried. So I know that I uploaded the shorts unboxing and from that video, you guys seem to really dig it. And here's the full like unboxing and the tablet looks so beautiful. I have the 16 inch version and I find that to be the perfect middle ground for me. It's not too big, it's not too small and the build quality feels fantastic. Uh, I'm not going to use any fancy marketing mumbo jumbo like with the pen pressure levels because in day-to-day -day use i think that matters more than the number and the trying on this has, feels amazing you guys will see in a little bit i love the new pen case and i like the built-in kickstand which is really nice oh, the buttons feel amazing and uh i love this thing it also works with a single usb type c cable but i'm glad that xp ben sent me the three-in-one cable since i have an ancient potato pc for my main setup so i do not have the flexibility of using one cable but that's fine i also use this usb hub thing and i also had to plug it to the power adapter so that's how i have it hooked up right now and then now i'm gonna install the drivers wait am i a little bit ahead of myself i'm gonna use my own stand i'm gonna link it down below i prefer this since it gives me a lot of different angles when i'm drawing but i can also put it the way i want when it's standing up using it as a third monitor so you download the drivers by going to xp pen's website i'll have it linked down below and you follow the installation prompt make sure you don't have anything else open like creative applications like clip studio paint or photoshop and restart your computer the process was actually very fairly simple once i installed it i went ahead and calibrated the tablet which helps it be more accurate in terms of the pen and where the cursor is uh and now i'm going to try to configure the remote i love using my toolbox remote for drawing so i was trying to copy some of my shortcut settings from clip studio paint to this i really like the ui and how it gives you a lot of different options so i wanted to show you guys the process towards that which makes it a lot easier the only thing that was hard for me per se was the muscle memory and that's because i'm so used to my tour box so that was the main downside for me, I think if I spent another several weeks on it, it wouldn't take me as long. It's just, I know what I like and it works for me. But this, I feel like will be perfect for any beginner because I don't believe that many of you guys have the budget for the toolbox remote that I have. I feel like this is a perfect middle ground, especially the scroll wheel. Oh man, it also has like a middle click button. And that remote I also must mention is USB type C. So that means that charging it, is much easier so i'll let you guys see a little bit more of the process of how i go about like setting it up and like my different shortcuts it takes a lot of time but once you set up your shortcuts you're kind of set you won't have to change them for a while and you can use them on pretty much any program you can set them for program specific as well so i wanted to let you guys know to draw this thing is 
a dream to draw on. The build quality feels so much better than my XP Pen Artist series that I've reviewed in the past. Uh, XP Pen definitely stepped up the quality with this one. I really enjoy the pen. I especially like that it has an eraser. You guys see that I use that often because it comes out more naturally for me. The grip texture feels amazing. On top of that, the screen is laminated, meaning that there's originally no parallax. So like the distance between where your pen is and where your cursor is feels amazing. The pressure works. Oh man, I love using this thing. And I think I like this simpler design compared to like the previous model of this where it had like the on the buttons on the side. I like this because it's a lot more clean and it's it looks much more clean in my setup. It's just a personal preference. I don't think there's one or the other. I'm glad they still include the remote. Uh I still love using my tour box so that's what i decided to use for this video especially since i wanted to get this out as soon as possible uh especially since the holiday seasons are coming around and i know you guys are shopping for drawing tablet and i think this is by far one of the best 16 inch drawing tablets on the market just because of the build quality feels very solid another plus that i do really love that's like very small you guys see like the little buttons on the top left there's a power button and then there's a volume button and you can use that to adjust the brightness of the screen which is really great especially for me because I don't have to dig into any settings when I'm drawing at night I can easily lower the brightness which is like really nice and again back to that eraser I love that eraser I think the only thing I wish is that that pen was a little bit bigger but I think the size doesn't affect the comfort I just like big pens because it feels so nice that i want to like just a personal preference but other than that oh man I, i've been loving drawing on this thing guys you guys see this on my stories uh, my other socials it's been my main tablet for a while now and another thing that i must say is that this tablet is a screen so it's not a standalone you need to use this with another device another computer it also works with phones as well through the single type c cable i apologize guys i don't have as much commentary just because i feel really sick i hope that the workspace for itself as i go into like feature wise I believe that XP Pen has come a long way with their pen technology. I'm glad I didn't have any trouble with the drivers. They just work so smoothly. You guys don't know how big of a deal that is because normally I don't recommend um, pen displays to beginners, especially with the drivers having, there's so many different things that could go wrong with your operating system that I personally go through myself reviewing these. But I didn't go through any of that with this and the experience was just so smooth. The laminated screen, it's vibrant, it's color accurate. Meaning that the colors you see on the screen is like what you're gonna see. I don't know how to best explain that color accuracy, but the color you see on the screen is a color accurate. I hope that makes sense. I apologize. I'm stumbling my words. Uh, I enjoy drawing on this tablet so much. I especially love the eraser and also the pen has two buttons on it which I use to um, move around my drawing. I have one set to like let me find the exact layer I'm working on and another on alt which helps me like color pick eyedropper tool. And this character I'm drawing or this I need to talk about her. I just had a bunch of different pretty girls on Pinterest that I decided to draw. I was trying out something different. I wanted to try the jelly art style, but I didn't fully commit to it. Uh, that would require a lot more time rendering and like rendering out my lines, but I did try a different approach for this. Um, I didn't want to just spend this whole video gushing about this tablet. I really do enjoy it. You guys will see it. It's in my workflow. I believe it's one of XE's pen, like, best tablet of today and one of the best tablets and displays I've ever used just because 
the screen feels very smooth very smooth to draw on and the pen is just so nice and i love the case i love how it's packaged i love that the whole like form factor doesn't take up a lot of space but at the same time you still have enough space where you can see your artwork it's not super small and it's not too big because with my current setup right now i don't have the means to have like a big display it would take up too much space so i left the middle ground with something like this and so with this drawing video i tried to include some slow parts and some speed up just because i know time is of the essence you guys are busy people and also to show some slow parts so that you guys can see like how the pin is i feel like with a video like this i hope that my work speaks for itself you guys can see the ease of use of this and speaking about that screen i don't know how to describe it i don't know what type of technology that you're using but you can see that for a majority of the video i did not use the guard glove which is like the half glove that came with this tablet it's usually meant to block out sweats and help your hands not like wiggle as much but for some reason because of the like but I, the screen feels so smooth. I feel like I didn't need, need that as much. Um, I don't know if it's a preference thing. It's because it's also winter right now that I don't need, I don't sweat as much in my office. But it's just something I like really appreciate about the build quality of something like this. I also apologize for like the crazy like angles because like the way I'm sitting, I like to have the drawing tablet like a certain way but also i have to film i hope it wasn't too distracting for you guys this has got to be my favorite tablet of all this year this feels very premium the the body feels like it's made of aluminum it doesn't feel plastic oh man i can't wait to show you guys my full review where i uh put in time with the remote but for now i hope you guys enjoy this video let me know if you have any comments or questions down below and also xg pins i also having a black friday and holiday sale for this so make sure you check it out i have some coupon codes in the description and i'll catch you guys in the next one